In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Potato Chat app. So let's begin over here by starting at the bottom left where you have the contacts. So inside contacts over here, of course, you can create a group chat. So if you tap group, you can then simply search a group or create your own by adding people via the button at the top right. As you can see over here, you can then create a super group if you want to, or just a basic group. And then you can see all your groups, your created groups, and then your joined groups. So that's the first thing. You can also click on channel over here, and then you can create different channels or join different channels or create a channel over here as you can see it says create channel and then if you press this you'll be able to create one via the button at the very top right which is blue now what you can also do is invite friends to the app you can filter them via contacts you can also see friend recommendations and you can give somebody a QR code so they can essentially join this app by just scanning your QR code you can share this or download it to your device with the buttons top left and top right as you can see or send the chat to somebody else. So those are the basics when it comes to contacts. Now you've got an option to of course uh, go to the very top right where you can see your settings and your requests and you can invite friends via that as well or tap the pen icon at the top right next to this bell button and after this, as you can see, you can simply select different things and delete them if you would like to inside activities. You can also click on your profile picture, which is top left, as you can see. And when you click on it, you can see everything regarding your account from your status, your cloud disk, your album. You can share stuff. You can see your recent calls, your stories, etc. So basically everything is inside here. Now, when you close this down, you also have the option of chats, which are the second tab down below. In here, inside the chats, you can essentially chat with people. So you can chat with Potato, which is essentially the uh, default bot that can talk to you and will give you some tips and welcome you to the app once you sign in. And then you can also start new chat by either searching for chat up there. So as you can see, you can click on the search uh, icon and it will search for messages or users. You can click on the pen icon by which you can select different uh, and select different messages and then pin them, mute them, delete them, or mark them as read, unread, or clear history. And then you can, of course, press the plus button at the top right, via which you can either add contact, create a new group, channel, create a secret chat, a receipt code, or you can scan something if you would like to. You can also go to the very bottom right if you want to take any pictures over here. And of course, you're going to have to give it permission to be able to do this. Now, what you also have is the third tab down at the very bottom, which is called game. And inside the discover tab, you can see different mini programs. You can see bot small sticker stores. You can see different live streams, etc. And if you go to settings top, right, you can turn specific ones off and they won't be showing anymore. Now, the last thing you have is the wallet, which is at the very bottom, right? So if you tap on the wallet over here, you can see your potato and your web three wallet between which you can essentially um, swap if you just tap at the top of your screen and the web tree wallet wallet. Of course, you have to use an existing one via connecting it, or you can create a new one over here inside the app. And then inside the potato wallet, you can scan, you can get a receipt code, deposit or withdraw. You can also hide with the button just below the settings icon top right. You can hide your currencies and how much you have so nobody can see it. And then you can see the current markets over here. You can tap on more and you can see everything that's available on this platform. So that's pretty much it. Those are the basic usages and there's one more hidden usage. So if you scroll from the top to the bottom from anywhere inside the app, or inside chats, for example, as you can see, you can see many programs and all your recommended programs that are recommended to you right now. So if you go to chats, scroll down, you'll be able to see this as well. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.